Guns, guns, guns! Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored video. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the subject of this video, and instead of decals this time, I'm going over some weaponry that I got from the Toy Hex Armory for the Titan Master Monster Box. We've got Twin Inferno, who I'll still call Double Cross, Grotusk, and Repugnus. Now these figures were released some time ago, but the Toy Hex Armory just made weapons for them that look more like their G1 counterparts. So now, without further ado, let me roll my intro and we'll check these weapons out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Review. If you can recall, the Titan Master weaponry was kinda lame. Every figure came with two guns, a left and a right, that could hook together to form a bigger blaster that a Titan Master or Headmaster could operate. And I guess it was okay, but your combined gun had a seat in it, and if you used the guns individually, they were gappy, they had pegs, and they really just didn't look good. So thankfully, Toy Hacks has come to the rescue to fix that. Now I do want to point out that my monster bots have all been enhanced thanks to Toy Hacks decal. Now we're going to start off with Twin Inferno, or Double Cross as I like to call him. His Titan's Return weapon he came with is the exact same one that Double Cross had, only painted black. So the weapon that Toy Hacks designed him is this one right here. That is pretty much the spitting image of the Generation 1 gun, and I think that looks so good. Now, I want to let you guys know that there are options for sizes with these weapons. All the ones I bought were the large version painted in bone white. And as you can see, there's lots of nice molded details on this weapon, and it looks to me like this was cast in a clear resin or clear plastic, because I can tell it's translucent there on the handle, but it's painted that nice bone white, you know, so it looks very similar to the original G1. So let's go ahead and arm up Double Cross here with the weapon. Now, unfortunately, he can't hold it very good in his claws, so it pegs in right there, and there we go. There is Double Cross all armed with a more G1 looking weapon. I just noticed this didn't just happen, but mine does have some stress marks. Now, let me see, maybe, I mean, it's, it's in there, you have to be very delicate, but I guess he can hold it in his dragon mount. So now let's take a look at the weapon for Grotusk, as we saw earlier, he had the two half weapons, now he gets this one right here, that, just like Double Cross, looks just like the G1 weapon. Very good job, Toy Hacks. I dig it. Once again, it's translucent, but painted that nice bone white. And unlike the Titan's Return weapon, the peg is dead center in the middle, so he'll hold it a little better. So let's get that in. And there's enough gap right there between the two rocket sides that his little molded section of his wrist fits in perfect. So there we go. Looks awesome. I love it. Lastly, we have Repugnus, who didn't get any blasters, but he got these green swords that look just absolutely horrible from the other side. They peg together to form wings, I believe. So let's get these awful looking things out of his hands and show off his blaster, which is this one right here. Once again, nice and smooth with great detail that look just like 
the original G1 blaster. And that, that is awesome. So let's go ahead and get that in his hand. And there we go. Looks so much better than the green slime sword that he had. So there you go guys, just a real quick video showing off some awesome products from the Toy Hacks Armory. And if you wanna pick some of these up for yourself, make sure and visit toyhacks.com and use my monthly promo code to get 15% off your order. Now keep in mind that this promo code here expires June 30th. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do have a super thanks button and I also offer channel memberships. And I want to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it is your support that helps keep this channel going. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime signing out. Hoo-ah!